Hello, I'm going to talk few words about buying projects and sub-projects. And actually, I want to remind you about the project procurement process. This process was quite extensively elaborated in uh, the Introduction to Project Management course and uh, there is a video that is talking about uh, how projects and sub-projects are uh, procured uh, by following this process. So if you don't remember that, so please look at that video and get acquainted with uh, the project procurement process. In that same video, there also uh, are the criteria for selecting a supplier, selecting a sub-project, for example. And uh, these criteria are actually uh, discussing about the criteria uh, for uh, buying a project or buying from a supplier of a project. So, I don't want necessarily to talk more about this criteria, please look at the video, so if you don't remember and if you want to brush up your uh, uh, existing knowledge about these issues. Then, there is another video about uh, procurement packages and organizing by buying in the introduction to project management. And uh, we also provide you a link to that video. And with this picture, I still want to emphasize the importance of uh, packaging the project to give uh, appropriately uh, designed and thought packages to certain suppliers. And when you are doing that, please think about the interfaces. You don't want to build an interface between two suppliers or between you as a buyer and the supplier in uh, uh, an area that causes a lot of troubles, a lot of need, uh, need for co uh, extra communication, maybe some disagreements about whose responsibility is what and so on. And I cannot say whether in certain projects it's appropriate to give, for example, the designing of certain system and the implementation of the system to the same supplier. Or whether it's better to give the designing of the system to certain supplier and then have competitive bidding and select the best implementator for that. But also the interface question and also uh, the scope question of in what kind of kinds of scopes you uh, procure or purchase projects that is really significant and uh, it's really important uh, to think about the kind of implementation strategy that you want to have in that project. It's also a question whether you want to give contractor uh, responsibility for some area where you would like to have yourself uh, a possibility to effect to that area during the project and keep, for example, the flexibility. Then don't necessarily give it out, especially don't give it out for uh, a fixed price uh, because you want to uh, develop, for example, that system during the project when the knowledge accumulates uh, after having started it, it and after having come uh, running the project for a while. Okay, but uh, look at the video uh, connected to the introduction to project management about organizing by procuring and uh, about uh, procurement packages if you don't uh, remember these issues. It's rather important that uh, we understand this to be able to discuss further uh, project procurement and buying projects and sub-projects uh, in this advanced course. Okay, um, thank you.
Thanks. See you in the class uh, soon.